and welcome to your gold market update for today wednesday the 14th of september 2022 mike smith senior analyst Go markets here after what has been a very eventful 24 hours in markets let's have a look at what's come across the news today of course overnight we saw major sell-offs across all u.s indices a broad-based major response to that u.s inflation data which didn't manage to beat that which was expected it resulted in the biggest one-day drop on the Dow since March 2020 and the Nasdaq down over 5% at close. Really, we saw a sell-off of all risk on assets, which we'll talk about in a moment. All traded to the downside and we saw bond yields testing mid-June highs now, which really it's been 11 years since it was last at this level, just to put it into context. US futures are struggling to hold neutral in Asian trading. Not selling off significantly, but nevertheless failing to move upwards as well. We may get a little bit of a bounce as we get some short covering later in the session, but not quite at this stage. And Asian indices are obviously following that US lead. ASX is down over 2.5%. It was about 2.8% to the downside when last I looked. European equity futures also point to a negative 2% plus open. US dollar index is headed back as we've suggested to test 20-year highs. Slightly lower in Asia, again, a lack of follow through at this stage as markets let the dust settle a little bit. Gold did subsequently drop on that USD strength to test 1700 support. Remember, it's been trading in a range between 1700 and 1725 for the last few days. Oil has made its way slightly lower to around about the $95 key level on the Brent crude CFD contract. And we've seen copper drop to that 350 support level, which was it was at last week. VIX spiked significantly to mid-July levels and is now over that key 25 price point. Bitcoin also saw a major drop. We were testing 24,000 or looking as though we may do so over the last couple of days, but we've dropped back down to that 20,000 key level. On the data front today, there's no respite. There is some significant data coming out. We've got CPI and PPI data coming out of the UK, Eurozone industrial production and that business inflation or in other words the US PPI the data highlights we are expected to see a softer number but we did so yesterday and so markets still have lots to digest going forward let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today a really worthwhile having a look at the USD yen on the daily chart you can see that push up today we haven't seen levels at this stage since the mid 80s and that dollar trade just pushed this back up to test these recent highs there uh, over that 144 key level a bit neutral in asia at this stage but really we are looking for a potential breach to the upside of 144.90 that may precipitate some more buy-in some economists are just suggesting that this could rise to 150 before we even get a hint of intervention from the boj uh, so that's one to watch for today providing it breaks that high we saw earlier in the session if we look across stocks there's very little to be excited about however we are seeing a handful of stocks moving certainly off the lows of the session and possibly up towards interesting levels aac a one that we've referenced earlier in the beef production space uh, you can see today's action here pushed it down initially to around about 185 but a nice move back up towards this key level around about 191 looks interesting we are actually up on the session as you can see uh, here this is where we open we are pushing higher but really a move over 193 uh, suggests that this may be worth looking at obviously this is slightly exempt from some of the inflationary pressures directly so one to watch nevertheless i'm not sure today would be the day to get excited about this but certainly worth keeping on your radar for the next couple of days if the market settles down trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now